Hello and welcome back to Kitchen Table Magic. Tonight we're going to do some home brews. Uh, we have two decks that um, are not pre-constructed in any way and uh, in the standard format. So um, I don't, I didn't shuffle very good. <laughs> I only shuffled a couple times. Let me quick get a couple more. I'm a little bit behind the eight ball today. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay. And ten. Eleven. Alright, who's going first? I'm going first. Ooh. Ooh. Mm -hmm. I'm keeping. I'm not going to keep. That was a quick decision. <laughs> Were you short on mana or something? Maybe. Maybe. I'm right. I know I'm right. <laughs> okay, let's get rid of this. And I will play a island. Go. I will play a forest and I will tap that to play growth spiral. I get a draw a card and I may put a land card from my hand onto the battlefield. Okay. <laughs> yep. Ooh, look at that. Nine playing a black deck. For I one. see that. That's very unusual. I've got War Screecher, a 1 3 flyer. I can pay five and a white, tap this one, and other creatures I control get plus 1 1 until end of turn. Play that. A blue, a green, and one other for uh, Aramunculus. He's two three flyer and I can pay four mana to adapt him once. Oh, is, are you playing an adapt deck? Okay, yeah. interesting. Untap, upkeep, draw. And he's a flyer too? Yep. Yeah. A two three? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Um, there is another planes and I've got one white and two others for a two two flying trusted pegasus. And whenever the trusted pegasus attacks, Target attacking creature without flying gains flying until end of turn. Alright. I will untap. Draw. I will play a, another forest. And I will tap a green and three others to play. Wilderness Reclamation. It's an enchantment and at the beginning of my end step, I untap all lands I control. No! For real? Yep. Oh, that's awful. So then I will go into my end step and I will untap all my lands. Yuck! Okay, my turn. Untap, upkeep, draw. And... Ta -da. I'm going to pay one white and one other, and another one white and one other for two more horse creatures. No hold. Okay, on your end step, I'm going to tap a blue, a green, and two others to adapt my creature once. Oh, I do not like this. What does adapt do? It gives it a plus one one. And just, it's permanent, yep. not just till end of turn? three, four. I can only adapt it one time. Oh, good. So then... For yeah, real? Yeah. Even though it only can adapt one, so one time. No, no, no. It adapts one, which it means won, you get but one. But if this creature has no 1-1 one, one counters on it, put a 1-1 one, one counter on it. So now that it has one, I can't do it again. Oh, okay. If it would have had adapt two, I would have put two counters. Oh, I get it. Okay. I've never played the adapt mechanic before. So I'm going to untap, draw... I will play that mm, island, it was called a mountain. 
Okay, and then I'll do <laughs> a blue and three others for Skitter Eel. He's a 3 3 who I can adapt to. I can put two counters on him. I will not go into combat, so I will go into my end step and then I will untap all my mana. For adapt, is it like a sorcery? Does it say? Nope. Okay. I was going to say, maybe you shouldn't have done that at that time, but it was legit, mm -hmm. apparently. Oh dear. Okay. Well, I'm going to pay one and three others to get Lexadon Sergeant, who's a 3 3 with vigilance and. When Luxodon Sergeant enters the battlefield, is it even going to matter? I'm going to play a cancel on. Okay. Your Luxodon there. You see that? That's why I stopped reading. <laughs> but for anybody who doesn't know, when he comes in, all my other creatures get vigilance until end of turn. That's all it would have done. So. Yeah. I'm done. Untap. Draw. I'm going to do a green and a blue to play Bond of Flourishing. I get to look at top three cards in my library. And I get to reveal a permanent card from among them and put it into my hand. I'm going to take a Skulligator. Oh, no! Oh, that's huge. And I gain three life. It goes into your hand though, right? Yes. Okay. And then I'm going to play green and a blue to play another growth spiral. So I'll draw a card. And I can play another land from my hand if I choose. And I don't. Hold and be done, and on my end step, I untap all my lands. I'm gonna hold. Okay, on your end step, I'm going to tap a blue and two others to adapt him twice. I can use two one one counters. So he is a five five. And then I will untap my turn and then draw and I will go a green and two others to play courage in crisis mm -hmm. put a 1-1 one, one counter on target creature and then prolo proliferate hoping for maybe one more good draw. Dang! <laughs> I was super mana flooded. That was, that was, that was painful. Wilderness reclamation. I got exactly none of my good cards. Exactly none. I had, I couldn't believe it. I started with one horse creature in my hand and then I, my first two draws was horse creature, horse creature. I was like, no! Yeah. Apparently I wasn't shuffled even as much as I thought I wasn't shuffled. Oh, cringe, cringe. This deck has beat him once, although I wasn't playing the adapt deck, so that's new to me. I, I don't like it. <laughs> I do not like that enchantment. <gasps> what 
do you do in Laugh Down? I like that enchantment a lot. So. I'm sure you do, because it basically gives you mana every turn. Yep. Do you want to? No. I want to do mine. One, two, three, six, seven. Who's going first? I'm going first. You can't. I'm going first, but I got a mulligan again. Can't play with one mana. Sure you can. <coughs> I mean, I can if I want to lose real bad. And I guess I'll take this one. I'm going to get rid of this, though. And I will play a Simic Guildgate Tapped. My turn? Yep. Obviously. One for a Charm Stray with Life Link. And when it enters the battlefield, I get to put a 1 1 on any other Charmed Strays. One tap. I will draw. I'm going to play a Island. I'm going to tap that. Play Grow Spiral. I get to draw a card and put a land from my hand on the battlefield. So I will put a Simic Guild Gate tapped. Worst Creature, 1 3 Flyer, and I'll go in with my Life Link Kitty. Okay. Untap these. adapt in four and this ability costs one mana less to activate for each instant card and sorcery in my graveyard so he only cost me seven, seven oh. instead of eight and I'm gonna hold To combat, and I'm going to go in with both. And then oh, I get my life link side. I didn't forget. <laughs> I'm going to pay one white and two others for Trusted Pegasus. I'm going to tap blue and three others for Skittering Skitter Eel. And I'll be done. How's he an eel if he's only a fish crab? I don't know. I guess a meal is a fish. Mana for the turn. And then I'll move into combat and I will go in with all of them. Between can block, can I block that cat though? <laughs> that much mana, it's pretty risky to block that one cat. You wouldn't. Swing in with that cat unless he had some way to defend it, so I'm gonna take it. Really? Yup. Okay, so I get a point for life link and you take four. Turn. 
And I'll pay one white and one, two, three others for Luxa Don Sargent. Now, and are you going to do something? Um, yeah, before combat, I'm going to do one and two to adapt him. To oh, okay. So I still get the vigilance. Yes. Okay, perfect. And then when I attack in, um, Trusted Pegasus, when it, he attacks, target attacking creature without flying gains flying until end of turn. So all three of these are flyers. They have vigilance too. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Two, three, four. Mm -hmm. And smelly Okay, that's not good. So let's go untap, upkeep, draw. I'm going to do a blue and a green to do Kazmina's transmutation on him. He becomes a 1-1 one, one with and loses all abilities and okay. blah blah. You just don't want me to make flyers. And then I'm going to do a blue and one other to play contentious plan. I get a proliferate and draw a card. And then I will... Oh, I threw my land in the graveyard. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. I didn't even notice. And then I will go into my end step and I will untap my lands. <clears throat> okay. Untap. Upkeep. Draw. <coughs> I'll pay one white for a charm stray, so I get to put a 1-1 one, one on that one. And then I will I will go in for attacks with the worst creature, who is a 1-3 flyer and uh, Luxodon Sergeant who has Vigilance and is a 3-3. Three, three. Okay, so I'll block here and here. Okay, so then I'm going to pay one white and one other for Divine Arrow deals four damage to target attacking or blocking creature. So we both die. Yeah, because that's six, six, so this does four, so you're down to two, two. And then I'm going to Gift of Strength, my Terror Man. He gets plus three three and gain three each until end of turn, although we have flying. Okay, so your flyer's gonna survive that. Okay, I'm gonna pay one white, choose a creature or planeswalker you control. All damage that would be dealt this turn to you and permanence you control is dealt to the target permanent instead. So all the damage that was getting across to these guys is actually coming over here. So both of mine survive, yours survives. None of the attack damage gets through. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. And this one dies. I don't have your enchantment back. Okay. And then in my second main phase... still just a 1-1, one, one, right? Yeah, so it's now I can do 4-5 mana to... Uh, that goes to your graveyard, or where does that go? The enchantment? My graveyard. Okay. Oh, but it doesn't matter because it's only instants and yeah, sorceries, right? Okay. I've got three of those in there. Yeah, yeah, I just wondered if the enchantment mattered. <clears throat> no. Okay. Draw a card. I'm gonna play... A blue, green, and one for an Aramunculus. And then I will go into my end step and I will untap my cards here. Okay, my, my turn. Okay. Um,
I'm going to go in and attack with these three. Okay, before combat, I should have done that. I'm going. You can to, do it in response to my. I'm going to put a one-one counter on him, so he's a three-four. Oh wait, this one has vigilance. I keep forgetting that. And this one's a flyer. Are both of yours flyers? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so it doesn't matter. Block here and here. <clears throat> okay, so in response to your blockers, I'm going to pay one white and one other for an instant called Battlefield Promotion. Put a 1-1 one, one on, tar on target creature. That creature gains first strike until end of turn. So I guess it doesn't matter. We'll put it on this one. Um, I was hoping I could kill something, but that one's going to die already. Because that's a, just a 1-1, one, one, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so we'll put it here. And I gain two life. So... There's my two life from this, and then I get three life from my life link. And then this one kills yours, and no damage gets across. Uh, three damage gets across here. And then your flyer kills my flyer, correct? Yep. Okay. And then in my second main phase, I'm going to pay one white and one other for martyr for the cause. When he dies, I get to proliferate. Six, I can nap them two, and each creature you control the one one counter on it has flying. Which the one one counter or creature you have with so the counter has my end step. I will untap. Okay, untap, upkeep, draw. And that's a just a two three right mm -hmm. now, and that one's a three. Yeah. I'm going to go in for two here and three here. Okay. So he dies, I get to proliferate. And then he dies. Um, and then I'll pay one and four others for a flying three four griffin. Okay, I don't have to tap anything. Draw. I'm gonna do a green and one to play Bond of Flourishing. Look at the top three cards of my library. This guy, and then I will play my land, and then I will go into my end step and untap those two lands. Um, were you at nine or six? I thought you were. I'm at, at six, and then I gained three life off of this. Oh, that's okay. the end of the card. You gained three life. Oh, I didn't listen well enough, I guess. So you were done. Yep. Dang it. Untap, upkeep, draw. This 
decision is decision. Mm -hmm. I know those three cards were pretty good ones. What, for you? <laughs> the, yeah, that I drew and I had to decide yeah. which one. The one I wanted. I'm gonna... Pay one white and two others for rising populace. Whenever another creature or planeswalker you control dies, put a 1 1 on rising populace. And then I'm going to hold. I'm going to draw. Um. Do blue and two, four. Flux channeler. Who, whenever you cast a non-creature spell, proliferate. And I'll fly in for my two, three, four. He's a four, five. So that's a 2-2, two, two, that's a 2-3. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna... Pay one and two others for an incident called Topple the Statue. Tap target permanent. If it's an artifact, destroy it, it's not. And draw a card. And then I'm going to go in for four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I guess I'll block this guy. Divine Arrow deals four damage to target attacking or blocking creature. So my guy survives, no combat damage. Three gets across there. And one life. One gets across here. Wait, how did... How did you go to three? Cause I was like, oh, because you, you took all of it together. Yeah. Okay, so then I get five counters. Untap upkeep. Draw. double. You may have it enter the battlefield as a copy of a creature or planeswalker you control accepts it. Enters with an additional 1-1 one -one counter on it. If it's a creature it enters with an additional loyal or if it's a planeswalker it deals. It's not. So if it's legendary it's not legendary. I'm gonna copy my monkula. Okay. So does it get its does it get the two counters that that one has? Because it says an additional 1-1. One -one. But it doesn't say it enters with the same number of counters. Mm, but I don't know. I'm just going to give it the uh, 2 3 with just the one counter. It's probably, it probably copies the card exactly the way okay. it is right now. So it's 2 3, so it's really 3 4. Yes. Okay. Here, here, let's put this one on there for 3 4. <laughs> And that's it. I can't win because you got one. I know one. you needed to get two bodies on the ground. Okay, so I full swing. And even if you let this little guy through, he gets you. My charm straight gets the win. Because <laughs> I'm assuming that's how you would block. Yeah, totally. oh, that's awesome. Uh, because the charm strays are the reason I made this deck. <laughs> so, 
Last time when I said I didn't get any of my good cards, that's what I was actually referring to. <laughs> I, I know, they're little one ones. They're itty bitty little teeny tiny things that don't do shit. Uh, that don't do nothing. But they give a two point swing at the very least. At the least, if I can get a one one counter on it, they do a four point swing, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah? Yeah. I'm really glad you attacked with your flyer. Cause then uh, I could I could go in for my own attack damage. I was holding back. <laughs> Wait, why are you rolling? I won. I oh, get to decide. Yeah. You're just not used to that. <laughs> I hardly ever win. But you know what? I think we've played three games every time, haven't we? Yeah. So we've been doing pretty Except good. Except for Commander, you well, just won right off the bat. Yeah. 20, Boom. In like Twenty-four minutes. minutes. I don't. Okay. See why I like uh, life game is you didn't touch my dice at all. <laughs> um, uh, oh, I'm sorry. You're going first. I'm keeping this. Okay, I'm keeping. Like. I'm keeping. Okay, island. Okay. Go. Draw. I'm gonna play forest tap. Play bond of flourishing. Like the top three cards in my library. Put one of them in my hand. An arrow homunculus is going in my hand. No. And I gain three life. Done. Done. Where's creature? And have a keep draw. I'm gonna play that. One green, one blue, one play. Arrow homunculus. And I'll be done. One and two others for rising populace, and I'll. F oh wait, yours is a flyer, right? Yeah. Oh, I'll fold. Untap, keep draw. I will pay this, and I will go a blue and two. <laughs> Just gonna draw my land and my arrow monkey to it. To play Flex Chandler, who's a 2 2, and whenever I cast a non creature spell, I proliferate. And then I'll be done. Untap, upkeep, draw, mana for the turn, and then I'm going to fly in for one. I'm going to take it. Okay. Um, then in my second main phase, I'm going to pay one and a white for Worst Creature, and One and a white for a martyr for the cause. Does that mean he has the adapt as well? With an one on counter, he can't adapt. Oh, can right, adapt. right, right, right. Okay. Hey, that's smart because they made it set compliant, like, so that it can't get overpowered too fast. So and then are you done? Done, done. Okay. Untap, upkeep, draw. for the turn and then I'll pay I'll fly 
fly in with both of my worst creatures. And I'm not gonna block, so. Oh, okay. In my second main phase, I'll pay one for a charm stray. And are you done? Yeah. Going to untap, draw. to play Kasmina, Enigmatic Mentor, Ooh. and she is a 5 loyalty planeswalker, spells your opponent's cast that target a creature or planeswalker you control costs 2 mana more to cast. Uh -huh. And I can negative 2 her to create a 2-2 two -two blue wizard creature token, I get to draw a card and discard a card. Did I play my land for the turn? Mm, you must have, because you're... Are you one ahead of me? I'm at five. Okay, no, then you didn't. Okay. No, I'm playing my island. <laughs> I should have known, because I had that island in my hand the whole time. Yeah. I, I just couldn't tell how much was in your stuff. This is the card I drew. This okay. card I had in that land. I will be done. You're done? Yeah, I can't afford to swing right now because uh, you just hit me with like a, the best offense for counter. Well, I know, spells. but I can't leave her undefended. Oh, that's true. We could attack with one. No, I'm going to. Okay, one. That's fine. I'm, I'm fine with that. Charm strike. Um. I'm still gonna, let's see, so she does what again? What's oh, I forgot to proliferate. Gosh damn it. What, wait, what? Uh, anytime you cast a spell that targets a creature or my plane blocker, you have to pay two more mana. But, but what when, do you I, mean you proliferate? when I cast oh, a non-creature spell, Because she's a planeswalker. walker. Yeah, Whoops. Too bad. I'm gonna fly it, her. Okay, I'll block with these two guys. Okay. So then I'll pay one and a white as the regular cost, and then two additional. Um, Divine Arrow deals four damage to target attacking or blocking creature. So both my flyers make it out alive. No damage gets across. Um, and then I'm done. That was my turn, because that took all my mana! <laughs> I just yelled. I did not mean to yell. I'm going to do a blue, a green, and three others to play Bioessence Hydra, who's a 4 4, and he enters the battlefield with a plus 1 1 counter for every loyalty on a plane blocker. So he's a 9 9? Yep. That's why you couldn't afford to let her be attacked. <laughs> here, wait, let me give you just a different dice here. You can use this one. Nine. Cool beans, not. Are you done? Yeah. Mana for the turn.
Okay, so that says if I cast a spell that targets you or a permanent a creature or my planeswalker. Creature. Okay, so Costs anything that targets her too. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, this doesn't target her, but it does target one of your cards. So one white. Two others is the regular cost, and then two extra. Tap target permanent. So we're gonna tap him. If it's an artifact, which it's not, <laughs> destroy it, and I get to draw a card. Okay, and then I'm going to full swing at her. <laughs> I don't like her on the board. So everybody's going for her. That's fine. <laughs> okay, do I get life gain still from that? Yeah. Okay. So I get three life. Cool. Sorry, that was too much thought. I couldn't decide what to do. So instead, I just did all of it. Okay, I will tap. I'll draw for turn and play my land. I'll do a green and one, two, three others. Play Wilderness Reclamation, and since that's a non-creature spell, I'll get to proliferate him. Wait, what? Whenever I cast a non-creature spell, proliferate. <gasps> that's a painful combination. I didn't understand what you were saying. And then I'm going to do a green. I should actually play this one first. Because it would have. Green two others to play Courage and Crisis. I'll put a 1-1 one, one counter on him. Oh, because then you could have doubled it. And I get a proliferate. Proliferate both of them. Because you could have bumped him again? Yep. And then I will. See, I'm at 20 life. My dudes are much littler than yours. I'm going to go in with my Mr. 11. Okay, so there's <clears throat> one, two, three. Uh, so that means. Eight, so down to 12. Okay. And then on my end step, I will untap my land, which really doesn't do much for me with my hand in the... <sighs> okay. I just need my Planeswalker long enough for Bio Essence Hydra. Yeah, I see that. I'm sad because I could have tapped out your flyers and attacked at her with everybody the turn before because I had that. But I was like, uh, she's not that big a deal. I did not know you had <laughs> Bio Essence Hydra. So, huh, with that in mind, um, I'm going to, um, so that thing's now a four or five? Yeah. And it's a flyer? Yeah. I'm going to attack in with these two little dudes. And I gain a life, so I'm up to 13. And right, yeah, save all those guys for my Mr. 11. He has trample. I know. So, are you done, Am? I'm done. I'm gonna untap, upkeep. I'm gonna play, tap that for blue, play Incubation, like a top five cards of your library. But first I'm gonna do my proliferation trigger. You look at top five cards of my library. one of them into your hand and the rest in the bottom. I'm going to play, no, you're not gonna play. You're gonna... Skate Wing Spy. I wanted that. Ah! <laughs> Show to the camera. One of my immortal son. He just got it this week. He threw it in the deck because he thought maybe he could play well, with it. I had it. it last game too, but I didn't have enough mana to play uh. it. So I'm going to do blue and three others to play, get that off the battlefield, mm -hmm. 
to play my Skate Wing Spy and each creature you control with a 1-1 counter on it has flying. Now I got a flying Bioessence Hydra. Cool. And then I will swing in for 12. Trample. Well, you took away everything I could do to it. And if I block with both of them, which is what I'll do, because they both have flying. Um, it takes away six. It takes away six. So I will do that, and I only deal two damage to that thing. So obviously it survives. So I take six, so I'm down to seven. And then on my end step, I tap my lanyards. Okay. My turn? Yep. One and four others for a flying griffin. Three, four. And then I will swing Before in. Before combat, I'm going to tap my six man and six one. Two. Adapt my guy. Okay. Twice. Two, two. So he's a flyer too? Yep. He is now. Yeah, that's okay. It doesn't change what I'm going to do. Attack! Um. You got two man up. I'm at 17. And take it. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Mm -hmm. So I'm at ten. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna draw the wee little terramander. <laughs> and I will swing in. I'm not going to declare blockers because you have me beat, but I just wanted to see how bad. So, four, five, nine, twenty-one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you must have known I had that because you, the way you played, you were avoiding me triggering it. I know what two white man I'm standing <laughs> up is. That was a great game. Uh, I am a little disappointed just because my power level wasn't there for you. I think your I think your deck's really competitive. Uh, my deck is very very much not. This isn't that competitive. <laughs> Are you kidding with this thing? This is the, this is jank. Ah. Well, thank you all. Uh, if you managed to stick with us again for this game, it took us a little while. <laughs> <laughs> Bye.